Have you ever wondered where the enormous diversity of animals and plants come from? Or how one species diverges to form two new species? The answer is speciation. Speciation is the splitting process that generates biological diversity. How does speciation happen? Although not yet fully understood, rough periwinkles, Littorina saxatilis, show us how speciation might happen. These marine snails live in two distinct, contrasting habitats. The rocky headland, where cliffs are battered by the action of the waves, and the boulder shore, home to many predatory crabs. Like any other species, individual rough periwinkles vary a lot. Their shells range from thin and small to thick and large. Some snails spend more time inside their shell. Others prefer to crawl on their foot and grip the rocks. Those with large, thick shells spend longer inside their shells. These crab snails fare better in boulder habitats. Crabs struggle to predate on them. Small wave snails, who like to stick to rocks and hide in crevices, do well on the cliffs, staying firmly attached despite the crashing waves. Through specific traits being favoured by natural selection in each environment, populations can diverge in different parts of the shore. Crab snails in the wave environment are not well adapted to this environment and are less likely to survive and reproduce. The same is true for wave snails in the crab environment. Those with beneficial traits will survive and reproduce, passing on their characteristics to the next generation. This is natural selection. Mating between crab and wave snails opposes local adaptation. Called hybridization, this occurs at habitat boundaries, where the two populations meet. It's costly because it produces poorly adapted intermediate offspring. It slows down speciation. A mixture of traits makes the snails vulnerable in either environment. They are poorly adapted. Hybridization can be avoided if individuals preferentially mate with their own kind. This is known as assortative mating. Another way to avoid hybridization is habitat choice. Snails may evolve to move towards their preferred environment, even if they're born somewhere unsuitable. That is, providing they get there before it's too late. Will these populations evolve into separate species? All the effects we've looked at help to move them in that direction. In some populations they work together and speciation may be completed.